All yep, right, we're now. live. Yeah, just close that. I'm gonna go live. Get my uh, right. oh, sweetheart. Until the next time. Until we meet again. Mm, okay, thank you, you so much. You be safe right. out there. Okay, I know I God got you. Hey, but listen, all the answers. And God and Jesus. Huh? And Jesus. And Jesus. Yes. Yes. Okay. She don't know who Jesus is. Yeah, yeah. Is it must? Oh, it was Jesus. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's. Oh Lord, I'm on and I'm live too, right? Stay well, they, live, they right? just saw who Jesus is. <laughs> oh my goodness! Look, look. I didn't, I didn't mean, I didn't mean to pull Jesus out for y'all to see it. Okay, okay, sweetheart, take care of yourself. Oh my goodness, brother! Yeah. Model Tech brothers and sisters, welcome, welcome, welcome to another uh, live session. And of course, yours truly, Brother Ray Hagans, is right here in the studio with my brother, the chef, Pastor Edwin Wright, right here in Charleston, South Carolina. And uh, hey, we, I hope you guys enjoyed the discussion today. We're going to be talking about what is the difference between religion and spirituality. Okay, so text 10 people, let them know we're on the air. Uh, please feel free to share this, create a watch party. Okay, if you're on YouTube, go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel. All right, okay, stand by. Let me get going here. Good morning, everybody. Welcome. Y'all know what the deal is. You know what time it is. It's your boy, your nephew, your cousin, whatever you want to call me. I'm in the house. Y'all come on in. We're going to have a break. Conversation today. Back by Top of the Man. Y'all see this caption? Dr. Ray Higgins. Show's going to start in about two minutes. All righty, so go ahead and come on in. Let me set the camera so y'all can get a good view of him. This brother is awesome. Man. There he is, Dr. Ray. There he is. Hey, family. What's <laughs> happening? <laughs> good to have you guys with us today. Thank you for joining in. And uh, to Minister Pamela Howard, uh, Brother Blake Russell, let me know when you're ready and I'll stop talking, man. Yoga Girl Sai, I see you there. Uh, yoga Girl. Don't yeah, care. she's with us today, man. HK. G Class VC, Aaliyah Bay, all you guys. Hey, Danny O'Hara. Thanks for joining us, family. Okay, we're going to have a good discussion today. And uh, I think I'll just let you guys see my shirt before I get started. Yes, got it. I didn't choose to be black, black y'all. I just got lucky. That's all it's saying. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> All right, 30 seconds. All right, brother. You want to use the headphones? Oh, yeah, man. Now just... yeah, we can hear. Asalaamu Alaikum, All right, all right. Hey, how are you doing? WSPO Charleston and WXST HD3 Hollywood Charleston. A Charleston radio group station. We are Heaven 100.1. The following program is a paid broadcast. The views and opinions of this program are those of the paid sponsor and not those of the staff and management of Sanka, Charleston Radio Group. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Welcome to Heaven Talk. That's a new definition. Everybody can be great because everybody can so. You got to talk for me. And then. Here's the host of Heaven Talk, Edwin the Chef Wright. All righty, welcome, 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 everybody. All righty, y'all settle down. Y'all making all that noise because of Dr. Ray, I know. <laughs> <laughs> all righty, y'all settle down, settle down. All righty, oh my God, man. This is a Saturday. Welcome to Heaven Talk. Once again, this is a community show. Uh, don't let the, the theme of, or the title, the name of the show, throw you off. Uh, and Dr. Ray's going to tell you what heaven means when we get started. But uh, it's Heaven Talk. 
Now, let me say this to you. It is a show that is designed where we have people from different walks of life, people that have different opinions. How else do you know what is good if you only eat chicken? You've got to try mm. something else. All right, now. If you only go by what they've been ta- you've been taught to eat, you'll never know that spinach or beets or something else is good for you. A lot of times our lives are predicated based upon what they said. And if they ever put that voice to it that says, and I said, then we go falling and melting into what they said. But anyway, so Heaven Talk today has a special guest. And by now, he's really not even a guest. But he's backed by popular demand. I'll be honest with you, and I'm going to say it to him. I was very surprised that people called me and say, are you bringing him back? Oh. <laughs> Hey, man, that's good news. That's, good news, that's good news, bro. Yeah, and so folks called and said, hey, bring him back. Uh, a lot of folks were eager to learn. And good. so uh, that's good. the reason why I hang around. I got to be honest. Well, you're good company. Yeah, and, we, we, we have a ball laughing. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. oh, my God. Yeah, yeah, you are. But people are eager to learn. And that's why I hang around. I love vibing from you. I love learning from you. I love the experience and, and what you have. And it helps me to mature in who I'm trying to become. I want to be, and I just, I'm just grateful for your friendship. Saying all of that, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, he's in the house, my friend, uh, Dr. Ray <laughs> Hagen is here. How you doing, man? Man, I'm doing absolutely black tastic. Oh my God. You know, last night, I got I to gotta confess something. <laughs> last night, when, uh, someone asked, I think a lady asked you, someone said, uh, how you doing? And you said, absolutely black tastic. I looked around, I was like, oh, did you say that? Yes. Yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> because we've been taught to be ashamed yeah. or in, of be in fear of who we are yeah and that's sad man that's so sad and 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 i was there right you know i mean like mick i remember the days brother if you had called me black man it was a fight Mm -hmm. okay Mm -hmm. i mean you know uh you black in fact a very good friend of mine pastor arnold kuykendall james kuykendall Mm -hmm. He got a, he had a nickname phrase for me, man. They used to call me Ray Ray Black Baby. <laughs> Ray Ray Black. Oh, <laughs> okay, right. and and man, it was like okay. And now he that's a badge of honor, man, to hear that. Wow. You know now now when once you know who you are, yeah, and you understand the glory of being black, right. the power of being black, being African, uh, having this chemical in my body, man, that that's more valuable than all the money they have is and they and it's, it's called melanin man mm. you know uh i'm i'm rich mm. I'm, I'm rich brother i i, I kissed the sun has kissed me raw mm. i've been kissed by raw yeah, that's how it's raw? well the raw is the sun the sun right correct mm-hmm. okay mm-hmm. according to the nile valley africans right mm-hmm. uh and you know it's another thing is interesting you say that man because in jewish literature okay the etymological word for evil uh-huh. is Ra. Really? Isn't that deep, brother? Whoa, now that's deep. If you look up, and those of you who don't take my word for it, look at your strong concordance, look up the word evil, and you'll see the Hebrew word is Ra, A-R-A, or pronounced, pronounced Ray by some. Right, right. You know, um, amen. Again, it's back to that, that history. Eurocentric historiography, mm-hmm. literature, the, right. the way they've written things, man, it has us hating who we are. Wow. You wow. know, they, wow. they and they knew that their historiography would have a negative effect on us when they wrote it. They knew that wow. they knew that it would have a negative effect on us for centuries to come. So it's by dev- it's by design. Oh, brother. Yes. Okay. Yes. They, man, they don't do nothing. <laughs> they don't they don't do nothing. And less is by design. Everything they do, man. Yeah, in fact, you know, the shirt I have on now, right? Right. I'm black. And again, for those who haven't seen it, I'm I didn't choose to be black. I just got lucky. Wow. Right. Like I'm that. leaving, I'm leaving the RV park, man. Mm-hmm. You know, and so uh one of the guys at the RV park read my shirt. He said, Can I see your shirt? I said, I said sure, you want to see your shirt? You know, you white. I knew I knew it was coming, you know. He right. said, when he when he read it, you know, he, he was attracted to the black and gold. Right. right. But when he read it, it was like, mm. <laughs> you know, <laughs> it was like, okay. And I said, don't, hey, don't be disturbed. I said, you can have one made. Yeah. Have one made for your people. Right. You know, right, right. I didn't choose to be white. I just got lucky if that's how you feel. But see, I knew the effect that my blackness okay. was having upon him. You know, I think, I, I think a lot of times, Dr. Ray, people misinterpret or don't understand uh, the liberation of you. 
it's it's all about the liberation of Dr. Ray. Hey, brother, yes, it, sir. It's not about what everybody else feel or think. It's it's your liberation. How important is that? And we're gonna get into the uh, the topic, but how important is it as people? And the reason why I say that because I've gotten plethora of people. I'm, I'm being honest. You're back not because you're my friend. You're back because people been asking me bring him back. There's another guy wow. we bring named Nazar who talks about the African culture, and people are asking me bring them back. Bring them. I'm saying y'all, hey, this is radio. People don't talk about that on radio. This is what you the chef. I said, okay, well, I'll talk about yeah. it. <laughs> hey, you know, our people are waking up, chef. I mean, I am. I'm gonna be honest with you, brother. I praise God today. I rejoice, man. Mm -hmm of the awakening that's taking place. But okay. then again, it's time for it. We are no longer in the dispensation of ignorance, man. Okay. The dispensation of ignorance was known as the Piscean age. Okay. 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 Now everybody out there kind of stay with me right quick on this. Okay. What was the symbol of Jesus? You uh -huh. see it on the back of cars. Yeah. The, yeah. the yeah. fish. Yeah. The fish. Right. 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 Okay. Well, the two fish, Mm -hmm. And five loaves of bread. Well, the two fishes, the signs of Pisces, man. Right, right, exactly. Okay. Exactly. Now, under the Piscean age, okay. we were indoctrinated. <clears throat> All right. Okay. We were told what to think. We were told what to believe. Okay. And that's why you went through membership training courses when you join churches because you were being indoctrinated in other words that particular church was putting their doctrine in your head okay okay mm -hmm. that stuff is gone now man we are now in the age of aquarius and even the biblical text says that uh according to the bible jesus told his disciples mm -hmm. i'm getting ready to leave y'all okay yeah, he did. i, I, I want y'all to roll, go down the road you're going to see a dude carrying a pitcher of water. Yeah. Right? He said, go with him into his house. That's what it says. Well, what is the symbol of Aquarius? Yeah. The yeah. water bearer. Water bearer. All right. Okay? okay? Go with him into his house. Mm -hmm. We are now, man, in the age of Aquarius, which is the age of information. Mm. And that's why people are waking up, man. Wow. You understand? I, I and it. there's no more excuse for being ignorant now. I mean, you know, years ago, man, you had to go to the library, search through books, go to, you know, the, remember them card catalogs, oh, yeah. find a card number, yeah. the book, and then go search for the book. Man, everything is now at your fingertips now. Wow. You can just Google whatever, and it comes right up, man. There's no excuse for being ignorant now. Wow. Man, that is phenomenal. Yeah, people, they ask me all the time. Um, today's actually topic, we're going to talk about in just a minute was inspired by a, uh, and I, I won't call her name, but an attorney mm -hmm. who was actually speaking to me. And she said, she said, Chef, I listen to you uh, every morning. She said, or especially on your live. She mm -hmm. said, I love what I feel. She said, you talk more on a spiritual level okay. versus than a religiosity. So, mm -hmm. I mean, here I am. I'm like, okay. I said, but listen. <laughs> There's one that comes mightier than I come out. <laughs> Who shoes? I'm not working. <laughs> you know. Yeah, you a preacher, man. You yeah, yeah, never yeah, preach. I, I had to take it. I, take it. I, I didn't want the folks in the balcony to leave without offering. So I had to take it. I got you. <laughs> so, so I said to her, I said, look, well, there's a guy that where I left from, and he's coming to town. She said, well, you know, we need to teach our people more about spirituality. Okay. Then mm -hmm. I was in a meeting one time with a two preachers, me and a young lady that was doing a nonprofit. Mm -hmm. So they asked her the question. They said, um, so what is your belief? She said, well, I'm spiritually. I'm a mm -hmm. spirituality person. Mm -hmm. So the preacher stopped and said, uh-uh, uh, that's not who you are. She said, she, oh. she said, yes, I am. He said, no, you are a Christian. She said, well, no, I'm, I'm not a Christian. She said, I'm spiritual. So I kept putting all that together. And I said, I need someone to help, because there's a lot of folks that listen to Shep. Mm -hmm. And a lot of them, I got to be honest, they're not into the culture of regular church and Christianity and all. They're not. Okay. But I mean, I can, I didn't want to be the one to explain it. I said, let me get somebody who can explain it to you all because I don't want to mess it up, you know. Okay. And so I said, okay. I said, well, Dr. Ray, he's going to come back again. And this is what we'll talk about to help those that want to know. Not a problem. And this is not an indictment on anyone. No. This is about knowledge. Thank you, brother. Because I even remember when you and I were, and people may not know, let me do a little history. 
I actually, when I first started on saw you, I was trying to rebuke you. <laughs> <laughs> I can understand that. <laughs> when I heard you, Doc, I, look here. I, I, I was trying to put all over my computer, my TV. I, I was like, I bind him. <laughs> See, I bind him electronically. Yeah, no, I, 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 you know, and and we must say it because on a serious note, we become ignorant in the practice that we do. Yes, sir, brother. Not knowing the truth and yes. whereby what we're doing. Yes. So when I started looking up what re rebuke and all of that stuff mm -hmm. really meant, mm -hmm. I'm just gonna cut to a short part of mm -hmm. it. Really, really means that I'm stopping my own self All right now. from growing to the truth that could be described. Yes, sir. Talk good, brother. So when I Talk say, so it really means I build a what call, what is called a dam. Uh-huh. And I separate. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So I separate myself from you. Mm -hmm. And one day I was I was having a conversation and I was like, and then even I was talking to my daughters and other folks, you know, Tracy and Zena and all of them, they were trying to get me to, hey, go pay attention. It wasn't until my daughter one day, she stopped me in the car, you know, we were riding. And she said, um, she said, Dad, you go to these revivals and you pray for everybody and you heal everybody. But I'm your daughter and I got diabetes and you can't heal me. Ooh. Mm. And that, that woke me up. All dog. right, brother. So yes. then I started on the search of finding out where, where is the healing? And then I went back and started listening to you from a different perspective okay. not not my trained eye i got you but the ears of learning i hear you so man. that's why we're here today with this topic yes is you explain to the people you know because i, I believe that you can there are folks that want to know what is the difference but before we do that let's talk a little bit about who is dr ray hagan folks before folks will know that this guy's not a doctor that just put a title on himself okay brother i this, hear you this brother appreciate with, that this, you know and yeah. with much respect let's talk about dr ray hagan right quick Okay, well, man, Ray Hagens is a, a brother who is, whose <laughs> mission, whose assignment is to awaken as many African minds as possible, man. Mm -hmm. uh, I grew up in the church, Pentecostal church all my life, Church of God in Christ. Mm -hmm. um, became minister of music for the state of New Jersey at the age of 14. Wow. Um, hey, man, and that was, you know, that was my whole life. Wow. You know, uh, went into the Marines. Uh, and and it's deep, man. I, it's not that I wanted to go into the core. Uh -huh. I got tired of church folk. Oh, okay. that's really why I went in the Marines. Really? Yeah, a church. You know, you must have been really tired. You in the Marines? I went. To, well, <laughs> <laughs> that was the hardest one. I, from what I told you. Well, know? you know that my uncles were in the Marines. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. And 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 they were my model. And, okay. and and not only that, but the dress blue uniform attracted oh, yeah, me too. Yeah, so, yeah. you know, when I went into the core, I, I wanted to get away from the church okay. because I was tired of the hypocrisy. I was tired of, you know, being a PK, okay. a preacher's kid. Right. Uh, I saw a lot of stuff that I should not have seen. Okay, gotcha. As a young person growing up in the church. Okay. Um, you know, I, I saw uh, ministers after they got out of the pulpit, you know, visiting ministers. Um, and I, I have to say in defense of my dad, mm -hmm. I, this does not apply to him. He, in fact, if it hadn't been for his integrity, mm -hmm. I probably would have walked away from everything about church. Okay. Okay. Gotcha. But the things I saw in visiting ministers and how they would do things after they left the pulpit, trying to hook up with this sister, hook up with that, you know, all that kind of stuff, man, and and then get in the pulpit and try to act so sanctimonious, and mm -hmm. I just, you know, I just got tired of it, man, and wow. and uh, I don't, I don't want my parents to look bad. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. So I figured the best way to leave is join the Marines, mm -hmm. leave in an honorable way, you know, and of course in the Marine Corps, man, um, Paris Island, South Carolina, we call it Paradise Island. Yeah. Okay, um, the night before I graduated from boot camp. We was in chapel, Marine Corps chapel, and I was platoon guide, right? So I'm, I'm I taken the platoon to chapel, and you know, and um, that night, man, I'm singing this song on a hill far away, stood yeah. an old rugged cross, yeah, the emblem of suffering and shame, you know, and I'm standing there at the position of attention, singing this song, and I'm crying, man, I'm crying because of the message in that song. OK, because you have to understand at this point in my life, all I know is Christianity. Correct. Right. Uh, and then to, to to imagine 
this guy hanging on the cross, dying, paying the price for my sin. Mm -hmm. I just broke down and cried. Yeah, mm -hmm. in uniform at the position of attention. Mm -hmm. And as Jesus Christ and come, come into my life as my personal savior, that da, 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 kind of thing. And on the way back to barracks that night, man, it was so powerful what I experienced. On the way back, you know, I said, platoon, fall in, you know. And instead of, you know, I would, I would instead of, I'd live, I'd live, right or left. Yeah. I'm saying, forward, march, go, tell it on the mountain. And we, man, 80, 80 boots hitting the deck. Boom, pop, pop, pop. And I'm singing that song as we're yeah. going. Man, it was so powerful. Only, brother, to find out. After I got out of the core, I enrolled in Bible college, mm -hmm. right? Because now I want to know theologically okay. more than I grew up hearing by tradition. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. You understand? Okay. So I, I enrolled in Bible college, man, got my degrees there, my bachelor's in religious education, my bachelor's in theology, my uh, master's in sacred literature, uh, double doctorate, only to find out, brother, that what I had learned mm -hmm. was problematic. That's right. where I was at that point. Okay. And what did it for me is in my research, okay. right? Uh, while working on my master's in sacred literature, I picked up a book, The World's 16 Crucified Saviors by okay. Kersey Graves. That book showed me, man, that other cultures mm -hmm. had the same virgin born Christ story okay okay the, the medes have it the persians have it uh the muslims have it the buddhists have it the hindus have it all of them have a virgin born you know christ man and and so i said to myself something ain't right here man mm -hmm. okay all of the stories are the same come to find out i said i need to find out who had the story first Okay, because I'm I'm sure there wasn't uh right, right. what 12 or 17 or 24 crucified saviors. Mm -hmm. So who had the story first? Come to find out our ancient Nile Valley Africans mm -hmm. had the story first wow. of a virgin born Christ. Okay. Um and everything, so of course now I'm doing the research on ancient Kemet, mm -hmm. Egypt, right? And mm -hmm. and man, I'm seeing that. Everything that I had been taught, and when I say everything, chef, I mean everything as far as the virgin birth, the dual nature, uh, the doctrine of Christology, the doctrine of pneumatology, the doctrine of the church, heaven, hell, judgment, all that. But all of it was stolen from ancient Egypt. All of it, brother. Okay. Which made me say, okay, I can't teach this lie no more. Wow. I can't teach it, man. I mean, I'm just one of those kind of people, man, that once I find the truth, yeah, yeah. okay, I'm going to stand on the truth. I don't care if I have to stand by myself. Okay. I'm just that kind of person, you know? Right, right. And and that's what happened, bro. Wow. I, 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 I I had to step away from the pulpit, man. Mm. You were pastoring. Oh, yeah. I Man, I've been pastoring. Oh, my goodness, man. I've got <laughs> 25 years of pastoral experience. And you walk away from it all? Oh, yeah. Salary and everything. Well, I, I never got a salary okay. from it. And that probably, that's probably what made it easier. Yeah, that was it. Yeah, that makes okay. sense. <laughs> okay. See, I, I'm, I'm a musician. Gotcha. So I had my own record company, oh. my own music studio. Mm -hmm. I had, you know, students. I'm training mu musicians, man. Mm -hmm. And that's how I made my income, you know, through my company, The Lamplight Group. We, we're going to take a break. When we okay. come back, I want to talk about the topic that, that actually the audience chose today. Okay. And that is spirituality versus religion. So it is. All right. We'll be back. We're Heaven 100.1 with Dr. Ray Higgins right here on Heaven Talk. Under the Oaks, presented by Tabor Mortgage Group and Heaven 1398. Hey, guys out there. Mm -hmm. FM, hey, everybody. How you wow. Doing? I see all of I see all these people logged on here, man. Uh, why are black people so afraid? Why are black people afraid to embrace their African spirituality? Is it because it oppresses? The oppressive religion has fallen. It's brainwashing. Well, he's gonna answer a lot of that, I think. Just hang, hang tough. Hang, hang tough. He's gonna, he gonna, he gonna get to a lot of this stuff. 
and lenses. Yeah. Save as much as twelve dollars on wristband tickets and gate admission today online at Coastal Carolina Fair. Yeah, just hang on. Yeah, y'all hang on. Yeah, they they got some questions on my mind. How long? Uh, we got uh, two minutes. Two minutes. Okay. Well, actually, a minute and a half. Actually. Okay. You need, you need to go I'm gonna talk to the audience here. Okay. All right. Once again, family, welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you for being with us today. Here, I'm in the radio station with Chef in Charleston, South Carolina. Man, I see all you guys logged on. Michelle, uh, Spiritual Swag, Sandra McFadden, Victoria, Minister Howard, Sharon Graves. Ernest Thompson. I can't. I, my phone is popping. I can't see. Corey. Got to go back now. Okay. Oh, yeah, we can go back. Thanks for being with me, guys. Your coastal Carolina fair. Be a part of 11 days of games, food, live entertainment, and over 60 rides, including the live entertainment on the lakefront stage on Thursday, November 4th. It's the Motor Town All Star. Advanced discounted gate tickets are available now. Ricky Dalton's on. Huh? Ricky. Ricky Dalton. Oh, he's in Vegas. <laughs> All right, brother Dot Ridge. <laughs> hey, Tia, what's going on, girl? The following program is a paid broadcast. The views and opinions of this program are those of the paid sponsor and not those of the staff and management of Sanka, Charleston. <laughs> All right, and we're back. Settle down, settle down. Y'all settle down. <laughs> Y'all settle down. There ain't nothing like a good clap track. Man. Yeah, man. Tell me about it. <laughs> that's how musicians, you know, they, that's, that's they, right. they, they, people don't have to really know how to sing these days. You don't have to know how to sing. That's right. Get you a good track, and you'll be all right. I'm trying to tell you now, or oh, you'll be fine. Once again, thank you, Dr. Hagen, for being with us. We're so honored to have you uh, here. Uh, we really are. Um, what I love about it is you bring clarity to a lot of things that a lot of people may ask. As I stated earlier, and I'll repeat just a little bit of it, there I was in the presence of some people. Uh, one was an attorney, and um, she just really not, she's not angry with church. She just really want to know about spirituality. Mm -hmm. uh, another young lady, I was, as I said, I was in a meeting with, with her and two pastors, and, and she explained to them, the group that she's working with, she said, I'm not. I'm not religious. I'm I'm spiritual, and and they didn't understand it. They stopped and said, "No, you're Christian. You you might not realize it, but you're Christian." Wow. So so today is not especially not an indictment on anybody, mm -hmm. but this is a, an indictment on the falsified information. Maybe people have been hearing. Mm -hmm. So let's go right into it. Um, let's talk about. Let's see. Let's let's talk about what is. I don't know what you want to go first: spirituality or religion. Well, we'll start with religion. Okay, let's talk about religion first. Okay, let's first of all define religion. Okay. Okay. Uh, and of course, I'm going to give uh, my definition. Okay. I'm not going to give Webster's or encyclopedia. You know, let me give my definition, brothers and sisters, because I can explain my definition better than anybody else's right. definition. <laughs> all right. But in the definition of its true purpose, okay. and that's important to understand. What is the true purpose of religion? Okay. And the definition of its true purpose, religion can be defined as a cultural, mm -hmm. psycho-philosophical vehicle of spiritual and intellectual enslavement. Mm -hmm. Let me say that to you guys again. Religion can be defined as a cultural mm -hmm. psycho-philosophical vehicle of spiritual and intellectual enslavement which has as its end three things okay the first thing is the cultural and racial superiority of the people who created it okay okay that's important to understand all right the second thing is a paralysis of analysis by those who believe it okay all right paralysis of analysis just what it means your analytical Techniques and skills and habits and practices have been paralyzed. So in other words, you don't think. Mm. Okay? That's the second purpose of religion. The third purpose of religion is for the perpetual empowerment of the agenda 
intended by it. And what is the agenda? Again, back to the first point, the cultural and racial superiority of the people who created it. Oh. Mm. That's what religion is. In a nutshell, as a simpler way to say it is religion is the skill or the art of making people believe that God said a certain thing about a certain thing. Mm. Just that simple. Just that simple. Wow. Making people believe that God said a certain thing about a certain thing. I was watching a document uh, a while back, and uh, in that, it was uh, it was a movie, and I think it was Birth of a Nation, but I got to go back and revisit again what movie it was. But in that movie, it talked about how the Greeks and the Romans, Ro Roman at that time, how they actually conquered other nations. And that mm -hmm. they would use information from that nation. Yes. And, they, and say to that nation that your God sent us. That's how they did it, man. Really? That's how they did it. It's, but see, that, I didn't believe it because it, I saw it in a movie. You're talking about, you're talking about, man, you're talking about mass deception on a level that was strategized. I mean, the strategy that they put in place, bro, to, to conquer us, man. Mm. I mean, brother, when you really look at it closely and see the trillions upon trillions upon trillions of dollars that have been spent in formulating this program, brother, they don't take lightly to somebody like me coming along trying to undo what they put so much money into putting in place, man. Wow. That's what the, that's the danger here. You know, and that's why the programming says if anybody comes talking anything else to you other than what we have decided, let him be anathema. Mm. That's what the Roman Catholic Church has declared. Anybody who comes along and tries to uh, correct or, 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 ex or expose their lies, their errors, that person's to be anathematized, man. And anathematized means to be placed under a curse. Mm -hmm. OK, uh, in other words, according to the Roman Catholic Church, if something bad happens to you, mm -hmm. you deserve it. Wow. Wow. You know? that, that, that's crazy. Yeah, hey, well, that's, that's, that's what anathema is, bro. <laughs> but again, again, that's what religion is, as opposed to spirituality. OK, now, spirituality, on the other hand, and, and again, this is my definition. Mm -hmm. Spirituality, according to Ray Hagins, is defined as the existential relationship of a cosmological person. When I say cosmological, I mean an individual who is connected or tapped into the cosmos. Okay. Creation. Okay. Okay. Uh, we don't get our directives from a doctrine. Okay. We get our directives, man, from the almighty from the most high as god downloads into us into mm -hmm. our spirit mm -hmm. okay so once we have established this relationship we understand that spirituality is personal right it's not a group thing gotcha okay mm -hmm. like 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 the like the whole church get up and just praise mm -hmm. god that's not spiritual bro oh that's not spiritual that's not spiritual in fact that's soulical and I'm going to break that down for you in a minute, yeah, okay? Do, I'm, I'm sitting there. I don't have no water. So don't make me pass out. <laughs> okay. No, but when, a whole, when everybody get together and do the same thing, that's a group activity, mm -hmm. almost like a pep rally. Right. And it's deep how we keep confusing what I call pep rally gatherings in the church mm -hmm. for a worship service. Mm -hmm. Okay. The biblical text says it this way. God is spirit. And they that would worship God or they that would communicate with God or commune with uh -huh. him must do it in spirit and in truth. Now, we must understand that we are a trichotomy. Man consists of body, soul, and spirit, mm -hmm. right? And not, and actually the most important order is spirit, soul, and body. Okay. Okay. Now, in our spirit is housed this thing called intuition. Mm -hmm. communion and conscience mm -hmm. those three uh character traits or or aspects are in our spirit mm -hmm. intuition in our soul mm -hmm. okay the uh character traits of soul is intellect right 
-hmm. will and emotions. And emotions, correct. Mm -hmm. Follow me? Right. So now what happens is if you look at most of our churches, or most of our church services, they're geared to literally yeah. tailor to the soul mm -hmm. of the person, your intellect. That's why you're indoctrinated. Mm -hmm. All this stuff is put into your brain, right? Your emotions. They want to know in church how you feel. Mm -hmm. You know, and we get up and testify. Oh, I ain't never felt this good before. Oh, oh, I feel so good. I feel that's that's emotions, man. Mm -hmm. Okay, they ain't got nothing to do with worshiping God. Mm -hmm. All right, and will you've heard? I'm sure your gospel uh, 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 radio announcer, you've heard this song. Some folk would rather yeah. have houses and land. Yeah, Some yeah. folk choose silver and gold, mm -hmm. but these things they treasure and forget about their soul. Check this part out. I've decided to make Jesus my choice. That is not biblical, bro. Hmm. According to the biblical text, uh -huh. God is the one who took the initiative. Mm -hmm. We didn't make the decision. God is the one who made the decision to rescue us. That's why it says in the second chapter of Ephesians, and you who were dead in trespasses and sins, hath he quickened, hath he made alive. In other words, you were only made alive, even in the realm of liberation and African consciousness. Mm -hmm. You're only made alive. You're only empowered because the most high took the first step. Mm. That's referred to in theology as prevenient grace. Prevenient grace. Prevenient grace. That's when God takes the first step in your behalf. Mm -hmm. You know, that's why when I say I'm so glad that the Most High rescued me from the lie of the religion that I was in. God did that, man. I didn't just, I didn't just, a dead person can't make a decision to do anything. No, dead men walk. <laughs> exactly. See, so when it says in you who were dead in trespasses and sins, you can't make a decision. You're dead. OK, just like I couldn't make a decision. I, di I didn't come up with the idea to free my African mind. Gotcha. I didn't come up with that idea, man. That was the, that was the ancestors at work, man. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The ancestors reached down and rescued this little brother from Newark, New Jersey. Mm -hmm. You see, mm -hmm. the ancestors said, we, we got a job for you to do. And that's wow. that. That's how I became awoke. Or wow. awake. I would, would, well, how do you want to use it? Yeah, that's how I woke up, man, because the ancestors said it's time. Now, how did that happen? The ancestors did it through people. You know, uh, whenever I think about my, my awakening, I think about a brother named Al Moody on okay. Patterson, New Jersey. Okay, okay. Brother Al Moody, man, he's been working in, the, he's been on the front lines for our liberation, brother, ever since I was a child. Wow. Okay, and Al Moody came to me one day when I was pastoring and said, Rev, we're having a meeting of black men, and we'd like for you to come. Mm -hmm. Now, mind you, I'm preaching Jesus and man, you know, I'm, I'm <laughs> hardcore Pentecostal, brother. Yeah, yeah. You know, baptized, spirit, speaking in tongues, yeah. you know, name it, brother. It yeah, you know, and man, hey, I got to this meeting and this brother said, the original virgin born Christ was Horace of Egypt. And he wasn't talking to me. OK, I heard him overheard him say that. So I stepped to this brother, man, you know, and mm -hmm. I said, excuse me, dude, what did you just say? Mm -hmm. He said, what about what, man? Mm -hmm. I said, you said something about Jesus' name being Horace. He said, yeah, the original virgin born Christ was Horace of Egypt, man. Chef, I, man, let me tell you, bro. All of my programming kicked in. The Bible says in Jude, contend yeah. earnestly. For the faith that was once delivered to the saints. Contend is where we get the word contender right. from mm -hmm. or fighter. Right, right, right. Okay. When that brother said that the original virgin born Christ child was Horace of Egypt, man, my fist actually balled up. <laughs> They, did, they, they, they actually balled up, man. Because I read, yeah, because my programming, that, that, that religion, uh -huh. the programming from religion kicked in. Wow. Okay. And I was ready to fight. And man, I mean, I immediately, I didn't give him a chance to even explain what he was saying, man. 
I said, Satan, the Lord rebuke you. Yeah, that's me. That's what I was doing with you. The blood of Jesus. Yeah, right. And I had that look too, brother. The blood of Jesus oh, is against you. You're an evil one. You come to hinder, but God bind you in Jesus' name. That's how I went on this, brother. And the other brothers, including now, who said, y'all calm down, Rev, calm down. I said, no, I ain't calming down. This man is an agent of the devil. Yeah, and all y'all are agents of Satan up in here. Mm -hmm. I rebuke all of y'all in Jesus' all name and left the meeting, man. And here's the here's the deep thing, brother. We never got to discuss what the meeting was about. Are you serious? Yeah, because we got distracted by religion. Mm. Religion divided us once again. Mind you, we came together as black men to talk about what we need to do to improve our community, man. We never got to that. Because this dude said something that I didn't agree with. Wow. Okay. And when he said what I didn't agree with, I ain't hear nothing else, brother. I didn't want to hear nothing else. Because I co I considered him a messenger of Satan, man. Wow. Okay. He looked like me. Right. He's a brother. Right. <laughs> but I saw a black man as the devil. Wow. Because what he said was outside of my circumference of awareness. Wow. Okay. You normally say that. Say that. You normally do it on every show. Yep. In Just, fact, for those who are listening, if you take uh, your pointer fingers and your thumb tips and make a circle with your hands and say these words, the space inside this circle mm -hmm. represents my realm of knowledge. All that I think I know about whatever I think I know is represented right here inside this circle. Mm -hmm. I must keep in mind mm -hmm. that there is more to know than what is within the circumference of my awareness. That's why I use that illustration, Chef, yeah. because I was ignorant like that one time. And just like yeah. I went off on them brothers, man, people go off on me. Mm -hmm. And I don't mind because I understand where they are. You know, wow. they, yeah. they don't know no better. I didn't know no better. I didn't. When the dude said Horace, man, I was so ignorant that I thought he was saying H-O-R-A-C-E. Oh, that's the only horse I'd ever yeah, heard of. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and that's what made me go off on the yeah. dude, man. Okay. And so what happened about three years later, I'm in, I'm, I'm coming out of the mayor's office from a meeting and there's this old bookstore, man, called Bizarre Books. And I had passed this store many times, man, growing up in Patterson. Mm -hmm. This particular day I was led to go in it. And when I went in, I said, I said, man, where's your books on religion and philosophy? He pointed to them, and I went over, and there was a pile of old books, man. Mm -hmm. I went, got maybe about five or six inches from the top of the pile. I saw a book entitled Osiris and the Egyptian Resurrection by mm -hmm. E.A. Wallace Budge. I opened the front cover of the book, man, and it said the chief fundamental of each Osirian's re religion mm -hmm. was his belief Okay, in death, burial, and resurrection of Osiris. And the only way that he could have eternal life was through the death, burial, and resurrection of Osiris. And I said, whoa, wait a minute, hold up. I, this is what I've been preaching, man. I've been preaching this very thing, but what about nobody named Osiris? It's about somebody named Jesus. Okay. So I'm thumbing further through the book and find that Osiris had a son named Horus, H-O-R-U-S. Mm -hmm. And when I saw Horus, and mind you, it's three years later. When I saw the word Horus, my mind immediately yeah. went retrospect back to that day where I had that encounter with that brother. And I said, man, this is what the dude was talking about, man. That was it, man. Wow. That was my turning point. I started doing the research, and the more research I did, brother, the more I found out that everything that I had been taught to mm -hmm. teach mm -hmm. was stolen, copied, plagiarized, and then represented back to us under a different ethnicity. Wow. Causing us, what I said, the first point of religion, mm -hmm. the cultural and racial superiority mm -hmm. of the people who created it. Mm -hmm. Who created the religion of Christianity? Mm. Came comes to us from the Roman Catholic Church, man. Wow. Yes. Wow. Do, do you think um and, and and this this I mean man, I'm sitting there going like lost for words. And 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 I know there are listeners who are listening because these these are the questions when they when they heard you before, mm -hmm. they wanted to know. Mm -hmm. And like I said to them, you know, I, I don't do this show uh based upon a certain group. I got you, brother. I, I do it for the people. I, exactly. That's and that's what it's all about. I, I do it for the people. For I, I got to be honest. Yeah. I, I do it for the people. Mm -hmm. Also being aware that because of where we are, sometimes, you know, those that are the powers that be are not, they're not ready for it. Yeah. I, I get it. Mm. I, they're not ready for it. 
but I want to help or make the information available to everybody. I got now you. what you do with it right. is up to you. I got you. Um, I want to say this before we go into my the other question I was going to ask. I'll never forget before I made some changes in, in my life. Okay. Mm -hmm. I heard, and I want to say the most high, I want, I heard this. He said, I didn't call you. I sent you. Okay. And so it was mm -hmm. messing with me because mm -hmm. all my life I was dealt with a call. Mm -hmm. So here's what happened to my, and I'm, this is the first time I've ever shared this. Okay. I've never shared it with my daughter, my friends, the radio family. I'm sharing it with you. Okay. And I sometimes got to be careful because when I talk about it, it just, I get emotional. I got you, bro. I get, I get emotional. I got you. Um, but it said to me, I, I did not call you. Mm -hmm. I sent you. He said, but I called your grandmother. Mm. But mm. through her, I sent you. Mm. Mm. I got it. <laughs> and, I got and, it. And, it, and it messed with me mm -hmm. because yeah. for years, I would never tell anyone. Mm. I got that. I got it, bro. Mm. I, I hear you. Okay. He, I hear you. Hey, man, I'm, I, I, hey, I'm, I'm feeling you. I, I know exactly where you are right now. <laughs> It scared me because when, when, he, when he explained to me, mm -hmm. it, 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 that's when I came back to radio. Okay. And I've been trying to fit in the old way. And every now and then, Doc, it keeps saying, stop saying, I called you. I sent you. Mm. And it wasn't until I met you at that uh, luncheon or whatever they had. Right, right. You, well, and you didn't really know me. Right. And you I, walked in, mm -hmm. and I don't know if you remember. You stopped and you turned around. I think you said either over or something. You said, "You said a king. He's in here." You point me out in the back. I can't remember what word was you used. And you point me out. You said, "You, you, you, you've been sent." Okay, I, I remember that, man. Yeah, you. Said, I remember that. You, yes, my daughter's with me, and you said, "I remember you that." Said, you, you've been sent. I remember that, man. You said the city may not receive you. I remember, but uh, you, yes, I do. You've been sent, mm -hmm. and and it's been a crazy journey wow. for me. And I would never tell nobody that. I hate you bro. because it's scary because you it makes you feel like you're by yourself. I'm, hey, I know the feeling. And and the other I thing is. You know, excuse me, I didn't mean to cry like no, that. No, hey, man, listen, I'm with you, man. I, I know exactly where you are, brother. It, 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 it's like you're trying to save people. Mm -hmm. You're trying to tell people mm -hmm. something that's happening inside of you mm -hmm. that you really can't explain. Yeah. But every time I try to quit, I, I kid you not. can't, brother. I, I've tried to walk away from this radio station. Mm -hmm. I ain't lying. I've mm -hmm. tried to walk away. Mm -hmm. And every time I say I'm going to walk away, it says, I didn't call you. All right, brother. He said, I called your grandmother. I called your ancestors. Okay. Yes. But through them, yes. I sent you. Yeah, man. I got you. And, here, here, I, and, and, and let me say this, Doc. I, I'm, it's, I can receive that, brother. I no, I can receive that. In fact, I, I can I can I can I can relate to that, man. Mm. Definitely. Yes. He he said, he said, what you thought your mom did was a mistake because I was born different. Okay. In other words, we my brother says we have told different dad okay i got you and 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 i i would i would i would cry because i was different uh-huh you know that's why I, that's why i never shared it with nobody because you know it really about not bothering me, but you know just feel but different you know i got you brother yeah but he said i had to interrupt mm. the dna mm. of what was normal so i could get the message to the people mm. he said and so your mom had to do what she had to do because I needed somebody different. I, 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 need, I can relate to that. And, and so I, 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 I refer mm. to scripture sometimes. And the scripture, when I say refer, I, 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 I get it. And the scripture that came to my mind was this. I only escaped so I could tell them. Ah, I got you, brother. <laughs> and so I, 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 I want to I share that. You. I mean, you know, I appreciate you sharing that, man, because... You know, Brother, I can I can identify so very well with what you're saying right now, you know, um, yeah, mm. you know. I've, in fact, I was just sharing with uh, one of our our ministers, uh, who's the pastor of the African Village of Memphis, mm -hmm. <clears throat> and he was listening to my testimony from the other Sunday. Man, I think I talked about, um, you know, letting go of of pay, past pain, past trauma, uh -huh. things on that wise. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And and he was saying, man, I didn't know you had been through so much. And I thought about 
you know, like you were just saying, mm -hmm. my mom, man, you know, it's almost like it's almost like her only reason for existing on yeah. this planet, yeah. brother, yeah. was to give yeah. birth to me mm -hmm. because I can't think of anything else that my biological mother. Yeah, did. Yeah, that's it. Mm -hmm. You know, so I can relate exactly to what you're saying, man. And that's that's how the most high works, brother. The most high works in unconventional ways, mm -hmm. unusual ways, mm -hmm. so that only God can get the glory. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, if it, if it was a, if, if it had happened in a conventional way or a usual manner, we could boast about it. We could right. brag about exactly. it. Exactly, exactly. You follow me? But mm -hmm. hey, man, when you look at how this whole thing happened, we have to give God the praise, man. We have to give yeah. God the glory. Yeah, yeah. Have to. Yeah. There's, there's, you know? For me, there's no, uh, there's no other explanation that fits. Exactly. Because, because my mom, she she grew up in the conventional church. Mm -hmm. You know, she knew where they taught, you know, fornication and all this good stuff. Mm -hmm. She knew. But he allows her to fall in love with someone. Okay. Only to get her to birth. I got it. And, and here's the other side I of the story it. that people don't know. Okay. My mom tried to have an abortion five times. Wow. See? She tried See? to have an abortion, See? See there? not because she didn't want Somebody to carry. Somebody needs to hear this right now. She she didn't want to carry that that uh, stigma that right. you had a baby out of wedlock. Uh, you had a bit what? And you, and you know how the church was on that, man. Yeah, and so they they scrutinized her and all of that stuff. Mm -hmm. And 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 but when she said she told me she said son, she said the last time I was because where I lived for my grandma there was a path. And I'm supposed to be letting you teach. No, brother, this no, let, let just minister, man. Just minister. <laughs> and, and, and Somebody needs was, to hear this. Today. She was walking, going to my grandmother's house because they were supposed to go to Holly Hill mm -hmm. to the doctor to have this abortion. Wow. She fell while she was going to my grandmother's house. She said, and it was like an angel spoke to her. She said it was a voice that spoke mm -hmm. and said, If you go to that hospital today, mm -hmm. I'm gonna take your life and still bring him here. Wow. I can, I, hey, man, hey, I, I can grab that, brother. I, I can grab that. You know, and so, yes. you know, sometimes people don't understand, you know, why you do what you do. Uh -huh. Radio might not understand why I do what I do. Okay. But I only came back to radio. I was finished. I didn't need no popularity. I, I, everybody knew who the chef was. I had more trophies than KFC got recipe. Okay. So I didn't okay. come back for that reason. I got you, brother. I came back because he said, I sit you. Mm-hmm. I, I got didn't it. Call you. I sent. I got it. I so, got it. so I mean, it's 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 people. He and this is what I I, mm. I battled because I kept saying in my mind that the human, this the Christianity side of me, said you can't because you made too many mistakes. Oh, you you, 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 you can't said, because you yeah. you done did this and you done did that. And so I I lived in that, and that helped me to not have to feel confident in what my sending was all about. I got you. I got it. You know what I'm saying? It, it allowed me not to feel confident in you were able, You were able to justify. Oh, man, I can hide. An excuse here, right? Oh, I yeah. can hide. Uh -huh. And, bro, I'll tell you what. The last time you were here, I don't know, something happened to me. Wow, man. Something happened. And you were talking, uh, 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 and, and, and I was listening to you, and then, and then uh, Yoga Girl messed me up. Okay. She started talking about meditation. Okay. And I started going back to a regular meditation. Okay. And I don't want to offend the one versus praying. I got, I got you. I didn't. I, I no longer ask for stuff. Yoga girl side, you hear me? Yeah. You, I, I no told longer. You see? Yeah. I no longer start. Start. I stopped asking for stuff. Uh huh. And I started meditating and speaking stuff. I got you. There you go, brother. So, so that's what happened. And so when the when the people came to me about, man, we want to hear Dr. Ray Hagen. We want to know religion versus spirituality. And then I said to myself, man, you know what? This is going to get Chef in trouble. And then somebody <laughs> said, no, because the people are ready. The people are ready, man. And I'll never mm -hmm. forget what you said to me when we first, our conversation we had. You said, when the people are ready, the, 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 teacher, the, the teacher will appear. Will appear. Yes, sir, brother. That's it. And, That's and, it. and, and, and you know. <laughs> and, ahead, and, and you know, it's really deep about this, man, because one of the things I love about the Most High mm -hmm. And and of course, you guys will hear me refer to the biblical text a lot, uh, because number one, that's where the most of our people are. So when I refer to the Bible, I'm, I'm doing that to help you understand, you know, this principle about God. Not that it's true, because it's in the Bible. 
okay? Mm -hmm. But it's in the Bible because it's true. Gotcha, okay. You follow what I'm saying? I got that, I got the biblical text. Say that again, too, for those that's in the It's not true because it's in the Bible, uh -huh. okay? But it's in the Bible because it's true. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. At least the statement I'm getting ready to say right, right okay, now. I got you. Uh -huh. Okay, and that is, the Bible says it this way, I am the Lord, there is none beside me, right? As I have purposed, mm -hmm. so shall it stand. Mm. I have stretched out my hand. Who shall turn it back? Mm. Okay. I am God. I will do all my pleasure. Mm. That's what I love when it comes about the sovereignty, man, of the most high God. God will do whatever he or she wants to do. Mm -hmm when he or she wants to do it, mm -hmm. who, through whomever he or she wants to use, mm -hmm. however he or she wants to do, that's called God's sovereign rule. There's nothing we can do about that, mm -hmm. but give God the glory and the praise about it, mm -hmm. once you understand it. Now, it's important to understand that being a spiritual being, okay, does not mean that you're walking around speaking in tongues. Okay, all right. Okay, or or and you know, or laying hands on folk and da da da. That has nothing to do with being spiritual. Okay. Okay. Uh, in fact, the biblical text refer it often even rebukes that kind of activity. It says, you know, you guys y'all getting all excited about spiritual gifts. I would rather that you have love mm. more so than spiritual gifts. You know, yeah, spiritual gifts are cool, but rather that you have love one for another. Then he goes on to say, because if I can speak with tongues and men's of angels yeah, yeah. and and, I'm, and man, I can perform miracles, you name it. If I don't have love, I'm nothing but a, a sounding brass and a tinkling so, cymbal, right. the biblical text says, noise. right? Mm -hmm. said, just making noise, man. And that's what's happening. A lot of people are making noise in the church, dude. That's what they're doing. And we're confusing it for the presence of God. Oh, the Lord is in this place today. Oh, God, we're having church up in here. No, we're not having church. We're having a pep rally. Wow. Okay? We're, people, People's emotions are high. And again, that's solical. Solical. Okay? We have to stop confusing what's solical mm -hmm. with what is spiritual. Okay. All right. Okay? And of course, solical is not a word people are used to hearing. Okay. You, we hear the word spiritual all the time. Right. But we don't... We have. A lot of soulful activity goes on in the church. Mm -hmm. And we think it's spiritual, man. We think it's God at work. And the reason why we're ignorant on that is because we have not experienced a dividing asunder of the soul and the spirit. Say one more time. We have not experienced a dividing asunder mm -hmm. of soul and spirit. Bible believers. Don't take my word for what I'm saying. Hebrews 4 and 12. Mm -hmm. For the word of God is alive and powerful and sharper than any two-edged two sword, yeah. piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit. We have become so solical that when we are acting in the realm of intellect, mm -hmm. we think it's in the realm of intuition. Whoa. You follow me? Oh, Int intellect good. is in the soul. Mm -hmm. Intuition is in the spirit. Mm. That's where God speaks to us. That's where God guides us in our intuition and in our conscience. That's where God, God, God pricks our conscience when we do something that we shouldn't do. Mm -hmm. Okay. So it's important to understand that being spiritual means living according to your spirit. Mm. not living according to your soul. Mm. And it got nothing to do with how good you feel. Nothing at all. Wow. Okay. You know, and again, we, yeah, go, that, what I we, go, go, we, feel good. we go to church, man, and, and, and we have a good time, especially if it's a prayer line and the preacher want to hold a microphone to your mouth. Mm -hmm. Tell us how you feel, how you feel. <laughs> and you know, Oh, I never felt like this before. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Glory. Glory. That's feeling. That's emotions at play, bro. And then what happens when you get outside, especially if it's the winter time, and that cold hair, that cold air hits you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I almost said the wrong word. <laughs> that cold, oh, that, that cold air hits you, man. Yeah. You realize, brother, that 
you know, they didn't got your money, okay? Yeah. They didn't got you to join the church. They didn't got you to promise to do this, promise to do that. Paul, because you was feeling good at the time. Yeah, we, we, they, <laughs> words are, are, are important. Yes, very Understanding important. Understanding what the word really means is important. It's very important. Um, I, I, you know, I, I'm supposed to speak tomorrow, and one of the things, and I won't get. We need supposed to speak. No, I'm, I'm, I'm telling y'all right now, he's my guest speaker for tomorrow. And I ain't even worried about you know, it. I, just words again. And, uh, and uh, something came to me. I was um, uh, writing. I was at the house, and actually, normally, I mean, it's 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 just amazing, Doc. I got to be honest. Since I met you, you know, I, I don't know what happened, man, but. It just seemed like my download is just, I mean, it's just me downloading. Wonderful. I, and I'm Wonderful. Like, I'll be like, where's this stuff coming from? Wonderful. And it's scary to me because I'm not, I'm not reading nothing. I, I'm just talking to myself. Oh man, I'm glad you said that. Oh, I'm so glad you said that. <laughs> Chef, I am so glad you said, y'all hear me very well. Man, we must return. Let me, okay. I, see, it's, it's coming so fast. Let me show you how. The programmers mm -hmm. have tried to prevent mm -hmm. God from dealing with us. Okay. The first chapter of the book of Hebrews, Hebrews 1 and 1, brothers and sisters yeah. out there, don't take my word for it, look it up. Yeah. It says these words, God, mm -hmm. who at sundry times mm -hmm. and in diverse manners spake in time past unto the fathers by the prophets. Yeah. Second verse goes on to say, but hath in these last days yeah. spoken unto us through his son, uh -huh. Jesus Christ, whom he had made heir of all things. Uh -huh. Now, nothing has been more detrimental to our downloading mm. from God than those two verses. Mm. Because what it actually says is God doesn't download no more. Mm. That's what Hebrews 1 and 1 says. And all through history, man, for, for thousands, for, for millennia, uh -huh. God has always dealt with our people uh -huh. through visions and dreams and revelations. That's how God dealt with us, man. We, now we're calling it download. Yeah, right, right, right. Exactly. You see what exactly, I'm saying? Exactly. Okay. Uh, but, bro, what they said is God don't speak like that no more. God, has his final revelation of himself to us is in Jesus Christ. That's what Hebrews 1 and 2 says. Now, what's really deep about it, and for those of you, I don't mean to be insensitive out here, okay? I don't, I, I really, I, I don't mean no harm when I say this. Do you know how detrimental it is to tell a people that the only way God is going to speak to them now is through a figure that was fabricated by the Roman Catholic Church in the year 325 AD at the Nicene Council? Mm. Think about that, man. We're talking about Jesus Christos. Okay. That's how it's in, that's how it's pronounced in the Greek because there was no J. Right, there was no J. For a word Jesus. Right. Right? Jesus Christos, okay, which was a copy of Serapis Christos. Mm. Family, don't take my word for what I'm saying. Write it down, please. S-E-R-A-P-I-S, -E Serapis. That was the image that was made in honor of a European pharaoh. Mm. Okay? And that pharaoh's nickname was Soter, S-O-T-E-R, which is Greek for savior. Whoa. And that's why we got the doctrine of salvation. It's called soteriology. Oh. You follow what I'm saying? Uh -huh. So this whole program of a savior was made in honor of a Greek pharaoh. Okay, Ptolemy the mm first. -hmm. Laga, Soter was his name, nickname. Where we and of course, when they made the statue of Serapis mm -hmm. in his honor, that statue became the savior mm. in honor of his nickname. Well, that statue became Jesus Christ or Jesus Christos, and hence we've connected the idea of it being savior from that Greek pharaoh. 
Wow. Stand by for one second. Yep. BL Charleston and WXST HD3 Hollywood Charleston. A Charleston radio group station. We are Heaven 100.1. All right, we're back. Thank you so much. We're listening to Dr. Ray Hagan. Yeah, the show goes over at one, but uh, we're oh, gonna, man. No, that's all right. We, we, we're talking. No, yeah, we, we're gonna talk a little, little, little more. Uh, uh, I, I'm, I'm enjoying it, and evidently the folks are because uh, they're still on the live and uh, they're asking questions. I can't get to them all, but but you're getting some great uh, response. Folks are saying, uh, no, not having church, but a pet rally. <laughs> this is that's, talk right. yeah. that's, that's what it is, man. Yeah. And, 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 and you yeah, and you and, and you got a cheerleader up there. Wow. Come on, everybody. Come on. Put your hands together. Come on. Come on. Man, I remember being the church musician. Mm -hmm. Chef, man, we used to start, they used to start singing the song, I'm a soldier oh, yeah. in the army of the Lord. I'm a soldier. And they they sing that for a good 10, 15 minutes. Yeah. Then they'd go, what do you think about Jesus? Yep, He's all right. Exactly. Sing that <laughs> about 10 or 15 minutes, right? <laughs> then after that, they say, have you tried Jesus? He's all right. In, my, in the meantime, I'm on the organ soaking wet at this point, <laughs> right? Okay. <laughs> I say like, and, and everybody taking turns. Okay. Somebody give me a break, yeah. man. You know? Okay. <laughs> but again, that was, Doc, what they called the Holy Ghost really wasn't the Holy Ghost. It was my left foot on them bass pedals. <laughs> <laughs> what? So I'm telling you, like, Doc. In fact, I, I'm gonna go on. I'm gonna say something. That I'm gonna confess this over the air. I've never confessed this before, man. Okay, but Rick James put out a song years ago. Um, what was that song? And the bass line. Oh yeah, yeah. Do, 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 yeah, I remember that. Yeah, do, 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 I mean, we got that earlier. Right. Listen, <laughs> give it to me, baby. Something yeah, like yeah, that, right? Me, baby, okay. Right. Well, man, that's the bass line I used to play in church. Oh, yes, man. I did. Man. I know, I know, I know. You know what I'm talking well, about, right? <laughs> and man, listen, you talking about some folks shouting, bro? Yeah, yeah. Man, they didn't realize they. I think they probably knew they were shouting off Rick James. They probably knew it. Yeah, yeah. We just wasn't saying the words, man. <laughs> but and and we had a we had a, a Spanish dude who visited, and he was very observant. He noticed that every time I started that bass line, do 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 do. Yeah. Folk would just go to dancing, man, right? So he came up to me one day after service. He said, Why every time you play do 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 the folk go to dancing? <laughs> <laughs> I said, Okay, we got an observer here. <laughs> wow. yeah. Oh man, yeah. You know, caught it on that reticular. Oh man, yeah. Yeah, see me. We you were the church musician, you yeah, know. Yeah. So, hey oh, man, yeah. we yeah. we controlled the service, brother. Mm -hmm. That ham and organ, man. People don't know this. I mean, I was a percussionist. I was a drummer. Okay. And um, you know, but I, I played football in high school. But uh -huh. I I always listened for the drum line. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And yeah. Uh, when I was in church, mine was whenever I went into a, a single a pad beat on that. On, I mean, on that snare. Uh -huh. You know, rat, yes. Rat, rat, they would go. You know. And, I guess you know. And, and really, I, I got that from the band. Uh, only, <laughs> only, 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 only the black church got that, man. Oh yeah, we man. got that. Oh, and of man. course, a lot of white churches now are starting to copy it. Right. right. You know, because see, there was a time, man, where white churches, uh, when they would when they would have church, they would have it on a diatonic platform. Okay, diatonic. Diatonic. Okay. Musicologically speaking, diatonic, like the diatonic scale. Yeah, yeah. Is do re mi fa so yeah, exactly. la ti do. So the first, third, and fifth tone, mm -hmm. first, ter first, third, fifth tone, and eighth tone of that scale mm -hmm. is what became hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Uh -huh. Hallelujah, Lord. We praise you, Lord. We praise you, Lord. Hallelujah. As me. Oh, it, oh God. Uh, do. What is it? I can't. What yeah. is, uh, so me, do. Right? Whatever. I can't call the words now. Uh -huh. But that's what, that was that diatonic thing. Black folk are melodic minor. Melodic, okay. Instead of diatonic. Okay. You know, we are. Uh, uh -huh. ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, you see, yeah. instead of do re mi fa so la ti do, yeah, yeah. that's not us, man. Yeah. Okay, that's European. But yeah, what happened? Yet. Europeans came along and gave us that. Now they got us in. Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Ah. We praise you, Lord. We praise you, Lord. We didn't sing like that, man. No, no. We say, brother, we got, we put, so we had that minor thing. Uh, yeah. 
yeah. ooh, 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 ooh. Wow. and that's why they want us to do their music for them, man. Wow, because they I noticed they clap on one, three, five, seven, all of them. <laughs> I, I, I noticed because I was a drummer, yeah, and they clap on all of them. We clap, they clap on, the, on the first and third beat, we clap on the clap second and fourth beat. I was like, okay, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, okay. Well, and now yeah. they're doing it, now they're doing it, they're yeah. doing it now. Yeah. And yeah. you know what that makes me think of? There's a verse in the Bible that says this, yeah. If these should hold their peace, okay, mm -hmm. the very rocks will cry out. Oh, okay. okay. Right? What is the meaning of that verse? There are those of us whom the Most High has given an assignment to. Mm -hmm. We have been given the assignment to teach the truth, to tell the truth. Right. Okay, we've been given assignment to be the people of God on this planet. We've been given an assignment to hold up the standard of holiness and righteousness mm -hmm. and, and justice. Mm -hmm. Okay, we call it ma'at in the ancient Nile Valley tradition. Mm -hmm. But we have forsaken mm. our assignment, man, and we're taking on the habits and the ways of an ungodly people. Mm. So, what that verse is saying. Those to whom I've given mm. the responsibility mm. to be light beings and truth bearers, those to whom I've given the responsibility to do that, you've gotten distracted. Mm. You've gotten taken off course by taking on these other ways that's not you. Mm. Mm. So because you've gotten taken off course, you cannot speak like I want you to speak. Mm -hmm. So what I must do, since you have forsaken your responsibility, since you're holding your peace, you're not crying out like you're supposed to, I'm going to have to get other people to do it. Wow. That's when it says, if these shall hold their peace, the very rocks will cry out. People who are not even able, who are not even supposed to be able to speak in behalf of the Most High God. God is using them to speak because those of us who have been given the assignment are gotten we've gotten distracted by a whole lot of foolishness man mm. in, in our in our culture what I, I know god, the word god is german but what is it in our culture what is the name of god when we speak that's a very good question because okay. god is not a name it's a title that's what i was about to, yeah right um and every culture has a name ah. for the most high Gotcha. Let's go back to the earliest, mm -hmm. and that would be the Nile Valley Africans. Nile Valley. Yep. They had a, dis and I use the word designation instead of name, because who are we to try to name the most high? Oh, man, that's good. Okay. So what we do is we use descriptions to designate or describe mm -hmm. certain attributes about the most high. Mm -hmm. Okay. So what we had, the ancient Africans had a name called Pta, P-T-A-H. Mm -hmm. which means that creative aspect gotcha. of the Most High. Another designation was Amen, where the Europeans stole that and put it at the end of prayer and said, Amen. Amen. Yeah. The okay. word Amen means hidden. So it's referring to the part of the Most High that is so awesome and so vast that our finite minds cannot grasp. Mm god's totality mm. so it's hidden from us and that's called amen ra is another designation to refer to god the, or for, to refer to the sun in the sky mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and that's why it, we call ra at high noon mm -hmm. the most high god mm. okay that's mm. all so when we say the sun or god's son yeah god's s-u-n S-U-N. Not God's S-O-N. You see, we, and a lot of, they try to distract us from it by saying that, you know, Nile Valley Africans worship the sun. We've never worshiped the sun. We've never worshiped anything in creation. We realize that creation is a manifestation of God. Okay, gotcha. Okay, gotcha. the sun is not God. Mm -hmm. It is a manifestation of God, mm -hmm. or what is called in theology, a theosophy. Wow. I'm, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to say theosophy. Theosophy is wisdom. Um, uh, what is it called? Visual manifestation of God. Um, I, it slips me, man. The, yeah. the, the something. I can't mm -hmm. call it right now. That's all right. It's not That's theosophy. Right. Okay. Yeah. Um, 
we we gotta go. We got three minutes. Um, I I, I said I told them I wasn't gonna ask you, but they if I don't, they'll say, "Oh, you didn't ask the question." Uh, you made a bold stand based upon um vaccination. You made it. You made a bold. Oh stand. yeah, definitely. You, you made your decision. You don't tell people not to or whatever, mm-hmm. but you made a stand. Yes. What, what, for those that are saying, because I've asked, they've asked me, what is your stand? My stand on the vaccine is that it should not be taken. Okay. All right. Okay. I'm not going to say to y'all out there, don't take it. I, I can I can tell you that Ray Higgins is not taking it. <laughs> now that I can say. Right. Okay. Um, and the reason why I say don't take it is because I don't, based on my research, based on what colleagues who are MDs, uh, epidemiologists and, and, and biologists have shared with me, this thing is a device that's being injected into the person's body. Um, the best, let me just share this with you guys out there and please do the research. Mm -hmm. Look up nanobots, N-A-N-O-B-O-T-S. I just looked that up this week, man, Mm -hmm. because again, downloading, right? right? Last week it came to me, man, what if these people are making microscopic robots, Mm -hmm and injecting it into us, Mm -hmm. okay? And these things called nanobots. Look up the phrase nanobots in medicine, nanobots in science, okay? Brothers and sisters, they are actually implementing this stuff as I speak to you. That's Mm -hmm. how deep this is, Chef. Um, and, And so because we don't know what they're putting in us and looking at the big picture Mm -hmm. of the agenda for world depopulation. Okay, yeah, I saw that. I okay, that. yeah. Uh, guys may want to look up uh, uh, National Security Memorandum 200, written by Henry Kissinger, calling for the decimation of over 4 billion people off of the, pla- of the face of the earth by the year 2050. Uh, type in zero population growth. Uh, type in eugenics. Uh, and that's what that's what hit me last week, man. I think, what if the, the people who are behind this mm-hmm. are eugenics? Mm-hmm. Eugenicists are people who feel like dysgenic people should never have been born. Ma- Margaret Sanger was uh, the president of the American mm-hmm. Eugenic Society. Yeah. She's also the founder of Planned Parenthood. Uh, and, and Planned Parenthood, when Barack Obama became president, Barack signed a bill, man, for Planned Parenthood centers to be built all over yeah. Africa. Yeah, yeah. You know, um, and I, Minister Stewart forwarded something to me um, just a couple of days ago. Blew my mind, man. And it's about uh, Moderna. Okay, Moderna is investing five hundred million dollars in state of the art. MRNA vaccine factory mm-hmm. in Africa. Wow. Yeah, it is, man. Look at it. Yep. I see it. Okay. <laughs> Moderna is building a massive factory, man, to put this device in African people. In, in two minutes. For those, and I, and I ask this because people ask me, mm-hmm. and, and I, I tell them all the time, you know, I, I'm a teacher, but I'm not the teacher. Now. The real teacher is Dr. Oh, Hayden. Oh, man, I'm, I'm just a student, brother, <laughs> but thank you. <laughs> That's, that brother right there is loaded, man, with information. Um, for those that says, well, I, I, I agree with him. I, I don't want to take it. But then some of these states, like some of them are reversing now, came out with mandate. You you got to take it. You better take it. What is your stand when you say, you, you're, you're saying you're not going to take it? Mm-mm. What What is your stand? So, or is it your right not to take it? It's definitely your right. And I'm glad you said that. In fact, family, write this down, please. Um, the right of conscience. Write that down, please, because that's your position. That's your argument for people who want to make you take the vaccine. Your The Constitution of the United States protects your right of conscience, Mm -hmm. which means that they cannot make you violate your conscience. Mm -hmm. You do not need a letter from your preacher. Now, that's what they're trying to make folk do. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, brothers and sisters, you are your authority. 
learn to stand in that power. Okay, uh, we've been sending out uh, affidavits to be notarized and can be handed and submitted. If you would desire an affidavit, please feel free to uh, email me. My email address is Ray Hagans. In fact, I'm putting this stuff here on the screen uh, for y'all. Okay, uh, let's see. Uh, and also you can make a donation if you wish. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, to help us there, if you notice on the screen, if you guys are looking on YouTube, if you're on ch channel there on Facebook, you see where you can actually uh, make a donation today. Okay, and I'm asking you to do that because uh, I came out here, Chef. Yeah. We didn't talk about no money or nothing like that. Right, Okay, right. so I came here on my own and hey, I want you brothers and sisters to help me put some gas in my car to go back. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so if you guys would do that, make some donations, I certainly would appreciate and it. What's cash? My cash app address is cash tag Dr. Ray Hagens. Cash tag DR, no period, cash tag DR, R A Y H A G I N S. That's my cash app. Okay. If you're making a donation through Zelle, okay, it's my email address, rayhagans at gmail.com. Um, and I would be most grateful, family, if you guys would help me with that today. But uh, if you want a, a, an exemption uh, for the vaccine, please feel free to email me and I will send it right out to you. Okay, man. Well, I mean, man, we've mailed out hundreds of these exemption wow. forms, bro. Wow. Hundreds. And getting good news back, sister wrote back to me the other day. Her company said that they could. The they oh, said, ahead, sorry, sorry. oh, they want to see the shirt? Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. It says, uh, I didn't choose to be black. I just got lucky. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they only said, what did the shirt say? What did the shirt say? Okay. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. So, so, you know, email me if you want an exemption uh, form affidavit for exemption. And I'll be glad to send it. We don't charge for that, family. Okay, wow. we don't put money on everything, man. Yeah, that's, that's true. You know. Doc, man, thank you so much. This, this has been a pleasure. Thank you, you, brother. Thank you. Having you in my city, uh, you know, talking and, and sh sharing light. You know? I got you, brother. And uh, like yes. I said, there are people that have been asking me uh, uh, for shows like this. Because okay. I, as I said to staff and management here, um, you know, and I honor those that that allow me to do what I do. Yes, but by uh, all means, you know, they, yes, yeah, Mr. O'Malley, uh, Steve mm -hmm. Crumley, they allow me to be chef. That's what go. they allow me to do, and I and I'm, I'm and I'm honored. And um and so, but I realize as I say to them, I'm in the community. Mm -hmm. right. I'm out there. I'm not just behind the mic. I'm in the community. Exactly. And I run into people who listen to me all the time, mm -hmm. and they want to know why don't you do this and why don't you do that. Okay. And I and and I I feel honored, like it's a part of my assignment. It's a assignment, brother. You yeah. Know, it's, it's a part of my assignment it's to what bring you were sent people to do to speak to them. <laughs> yeah. As well. I you got know? you. And so so I'm not afraid to hear something that's different. I hear you, brother. How else I, would I know? I, I know you. There you go. How are you going to learn? You know, I, it, it, you, you got to hear something yes. other than what has been pressed upon your your, your membrane. You, you got to yes. hear something else. Yes, sir. And so when they asked me or they talked about it, I was I, I, it just hit me. I said, oh, I know who knows this stuff. <laughs> you know, top, top head, well, you brother, know? I'm so I'm you honored. Know? I'm honored, chef. I'm honored, man. It's an honor to be with you on the air here. It's an honor to be here in Charleston, yeah. man. Somebody you said, know? tell Dr. Ray, you come to Florida. So I've, I've gotten several messages. Oh, yeah. that message early, come, come to Virginia, come to Florida, <laughs> you know, come, come to Tennessee. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. Hey, we're, let's we're, make it. We can make it happen. It's yeah. not a problem. Yeah, we'll make it happen. But thank yes. you so much for your sacrifice and and and, and what you do because um, it's my people, life, man. People, people, you know, hear this and and a lot of times they don't understand and they they oh who is you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But I say to my city is is the fact that um you know listen mm -hmm. and then he often and that's how he got me he said if you don't believe me go look it go up yourself. Your own research that's <laughs> right that's my favorite and, line brother and that's what got me so i say to you go go look it up yourself thank you my friend you're very welcome and, brother uh, i gotta I, let him get on the road because he got to get back to atlanta yeah and yeah listen y'all get ready get ready get ready because tomorrow <laughs> This man, this warrior is going to be my guest speaker for tomorrow morning, you know, and he got a message about playing with toys. Yeah. yeah. Oh, my God. It's going to be good. It's going to be good. Yes, sir. 
Oh, yeah, man. so y'all just get ready for another good day tomorrow. And to all of you who had logged on, I'm looking at your names here and, and seeing the numbers. Thank you guys for being with me today. And, uh, hey, we'll, p- we'll pick up some more on next month when yeah. I come back. Yeah. Okay, uh, we're going to do this until the almost high say, okay, we, you've done it enough. Yeah. So we'll be back again on next month, you know, ancestors being our guide and the most high giving us strength to continue this work. Thank you, my friend. Once again, y'all, y'all know the deal. It's Heaven Talk, right here on Heaven 100.1. Thank you guys out there. All right, I'm Mer, all of you. Please take a moment and make a donation. Okay? Yeah. yeah. Cash app, again on here, huh? cash app mm-hmm. is cash tag Dr. Ray Hagens. That's cash tag D-R-R-A-Y-H-A-G-I-N-S. Y'all got it? Okay. All right. All right. Thank, Thank you. Me. Thank you for your contribution. Yeah. All right, All right family. We, we're getting ready to get off.